Hey guys, it's Spicy Sushi. So I've actually gotten quite a few messages, uh, surprisingly, about how to make the Spark Gloves for Inquisitor. Now, these are pretty popular now because of Jung Rowan's new build, but also he's doing like some kind of uh, self-chill Spark. This would be the high budget option for that build. Uh, but there's also, you know, it's a very popular item for Spark and Wizard this league because it's like the only, I think, Ascendancy that really can play Spark efficiently this league. I think everything else is kind of troll uh, unless you're putting in like eight plus mirrors. Uh, so why would you ever put Spark in your gloves like this one? You see here, this is a, mag a Spark Magic Finder. They have uh, a four link Spark and then also a uh, 4.5 link in the gloves so they're basically getting like an ape you know like an well i mean item rarity is, doesn't make it a nine link obviously but you know why would you ever do this well it's because this league more than ever it is very appealing to put a six link enlighten in your chest now this player isn't making use of this but basically this gets even more op if you use a plus one support gym or plus one socketed gym in your chest or let's say like uh you know the um faceted fossil for plus one int you can get like a level six level seven enlighten uh if you have an awakened light you can even get to like level eight level nine and that is absolutely absurd because that is basically like uh having you know old legacy rmr you're, you're gonna have so much reduction on these on these auras so that's why it's kind of used this originally was not even used really on regular non aura stacker spark inquisitors but because this league the rmr uh master got nerfed this is very appealing and this is generally what people usually strive for on uh you know self chill spark as well in the end game i've noticed but i have gotten a lot of questions on how to make this so that is why you get this item we're going to go over how to make that now. So let's go ahead and cover step one, and that is going to be um, getting our suffixes. Now, before step one, we do have to get our base. It's glitched out right now, but it's a Shaper Elder Fingerless Silk Glove. Uh, you want to do item level 84 plus, ideally. And so you're just going to awaken your orb, slam them together, and then you are good to go. Basically, all you get is like an item level 84, whatever the cheapest influence is, and then you'll get an elder pair of gloves or a shaper pair of gloves they don't have to be fingerless and then you'll awaken or them together and then you have your base uh you need one modifier one influence modifier on each item to awaken or them together it does not matter what the mods is because we're going to be uh going for an essence mod which means we can't use um you know we can't just awaken our orb slam and finish our mods so these are the suffixes that we want once we have these we are going to move on to step two which is our prefixes so to get these there are two main ways that people do it um one of them is using glyphic fossils uh, with a three socket resonator and the other method is imprinting now the imprinting method has been nerfed heavily this league unfortunately so I would not typically recommend it. Uh, glyphic fossils are probably going to be the way to go with a theric, glyphic, and deft. It's going to be three socket resonators. This is going to be cheaper than imprints. It's going to be better than imprints because um, with imprinting, we're only going to be we're going to definitely be uh, spending a lot of money to just not only set up your base with imprinting, but you are also going to be spending a lot on reforges. Now, with glyphic fossils, I do actually prefer this method because you can go ahead and hit all of the mods that you want on your suffixes without ever having to do any kind of reforging. Now, what do I mean by reforging? I mean hitting this faster casting mod and then 100% guaranteeing our socketed spells have crit multi mod. You are mainly looking for this modifier paired with this modifier. You do not want to hit this modifier and only this modifier. If you hit it tier one, I would say it may be worth going for a reforge for this, but it is important to note that on elder gloves, and we do have to use Elder because one of our prefixes is Elder. One of our very important prefixes is Elder. We do have to use Elder. There is a um, increased uh, cast and attack speed lock, but it is, it is usually a suffix on these gloves. Uh, but if we hit faster casting first, we actually block this modifier, making it a 100% chance to reforge crit multi. But the reason glyphics are so nice is because you could hit all three on their own since we're using deft to increase the chance at this modifier and this modifier these this essence modifier it's a usually a if you use a glyphic you have a one in four chance of hitting one the exact corrupted essence modifier that you want but since we are increasing this modifier by 10 times it is more likely to hit keep in mind though that we are also with our deft fossil increasing the chance at another corrupted essence mod but we are also reducing it with our less attack 
uh, on our etheric, so we won't see it as much. We will see this much more often. So uh, basically, with these gloves, you want to hit this socketed crit, and you want to hit faster casting. Now, if you want to settle with T3, that's fine if you're on a budget, but you will have to annul this lightning damage off the item. You could use a regular orb of annulment or a beast suffix to prefix, whichever you prefer. Uh, if you hit it, we will have to go again. So since we annulled our essence mod, we'd use it again. Um, and here we hit one of the corrupted essence mods. So it's already a, you know, we already have to go again. Now we hit it here with none of our, one, with none of the suffixes that we want. But, um, and here, this is going to happen sometimes. You're going to hit your two suffixes, but you're going to hit the wrong essence mod. It's very unfortunate there. Uh, but eventually, you will run into uh, a scenario where you can actually annul off the one mod that you don't want, which right there, we, we tried to annul Fizz Multi. Uh, but basically, this is a pretty painful process. It is less painful than imprinting, though. But here we go, we have our flat crit and our faster casting. So we go for another annul to get rid of this life regen. We hit it on the third try. One in three, third try, nice. Um, and now we're going to, we have our T2 faster casting, our socketed crit chance. And then at this point, all you have to do is you're going to lock suffixes. I only recommend doing this if you have the faster casting mod and not if you only have crit multi. If you hit T1 crit multi, I guess you could go for it, but it's going to be a um it's not going to be guaranteed that you hit faster casting because there is another caster modifier that the the attack and cast speed mod that you're not blocking anymore. But with this, you are blocking it, so you are guaranteed on your reforge caster to hit crit multi. So if you hit the crit multi that you're happy with, you're good to go. Here we got exceptionally lucky and we actually hit the faster proj mod as well. But we're going to pretend we didn't hit that. Basically, our suffixes are done here. We're not going to be elevating anything uh on a very you know, min-max version of this build, you would probably uh, go for elevations, but it's exceptionally painful, so I don't really recommend it. But anyway, uh, let's lock our suffixes. Let, let's pretend we did not hit this faster proj mod. Basically, you just reforge speed. Now, this is guaranteed to be faster projectiles, and that is a good thing because, you know, there's obviously that 10% chance that we fill up our prefixes. And once you hit this, you can decide what's next. So if you want to go for a higher budget pair of gloves with every reforge speed that's like T2 or higher, I'd recommend you could go to Ashling. But keep in mind, if you go to Ashling, it's a 50-50. So it's a 50-50, uh, but... um then it is actually a pretty good chance of getting what we want here. So you can still unveil, even if you're blocking a conversion mod, which this is like a 38% chance of unveil, making it the way the mod the fire that you want to block, but we can still unveil the other conversion mods. At least it says it on the calculator. Uh, I believe, maybe it hasn't been changed on the emulator yet, but I do believe they changed it to where you can unveil these. So it's not like a, you're not blocking all three anymore. Uh, but all you need to hit here is actually just life or plus two, um, plus two proj. So, but yeah, if we unveil life, we're fine because you un because life was going to be our other mod anyway. But you're going to have to give up a projectile level. But I would say it's fine just to stop on this. So let's say we unveiled our life, we unveiled, uh, and then we have our open modifier. Still, we can change that fizz conversion to plus one prod. So we lose out on a prod level, but we do get a pierce and you would want to stop there. Uh, it would not be worth it to recraft on this. Uh, you would either just sell it or go again. So um, there you go. Obviously the ideal scenario would be you unveil the plus two prod and you can craft life. But in this situation, we unveiled life, but we can still craft prod. So. So if we go to trade right now, very, very bad versions are 10 divines, uh, still pretty bad subpar versions here to, uh, for 15 divines, no life at all, uh, low tiers. Um, so the first decent pair, we have T1 faster, T1 multi, T1 faster, uh, proj and casting, my bad. And then we have some life and crafted proj 20 divines. Um, and so, yeah, uh, the reason... The estimated cost is probably around 20 divines to get double T1 or more, but the thing is is that you could just hit garbage pairs that sell along the way, which is why the price is reduced, because you can sell bricks uh, definitely is an option. Like this guy right here has one, two, three, uh, maybe even more on the higher end. He's probably just been profit printing lots of these, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we go all the way up until we reach our, that, the mirror tier pair. I think there's actually a better pair that exists than this now, though. But yep, 
Uh, the Now let's move on to the second method, the method that I don't recommend unless glyphics are just incredibly expensive and imprints still are around half a divine. And that would be you get your pair of gloves and you use a horror essence and you try to annul it down to where it's only the crit strike chance and and like two prefixes maximum. So let's say you have your life and you still have your, let's see. This is apparently really hard. I, I know I can just use a keybind, but I just never really use the keybind. I'm just trying to annul the cold res, man. Hello? Um, okay. Wow. Uh, anyway, but we have, you know, we can have up to two prefixes, but you do want the crit strike chance by itself. All you have to do is just craft stuff which does not be changed, scour it down to magic. Then all you have to do is craft stuff which does not be changed again. So it's four divines to get to this point. And then we can start imprinting. We have to buy a Krakit Chimeral. They're about half a divine on trade. And then you will have to use the double nerfed method if you want to do this. So it's pretty bad. I don't recommend doing this. Um, even if they're only half a divine on imprints and glyphics go up to like one divine, I still think glyphics might actually be better. Because for this method, you actually have to regal which you half the time you're going to reel a suffix and then you're going to have to reforge caster. Now there's faster casting, there's socketed crit multi, there's increased attack and cast speed on your suffixes. So it is a low chance that you're actually going to reforge into the faster casting. And I don't recommend going for um, trying to finish it if you hit the socketed crit multi alone with no faster casting. But ideally, you want to hit faster casting. And then you're going to have to annul life off. Uh, well, not life. You're going to have to annul your extra suffix. A lot of the time, you're going to, if you regal into a suffix, you're going to be guaranteed to have that suffix. Um, if you uh, reforge caster, you have a chance of getting that extra suffix. There's no more caster more common. So that's why it's double nerfed, because usually you could expect to get maybe more than one caster modifier. So you'd have a higher chance of faster casting, but that's not a thing anymore. It's only one caster modifier is guaranteed. But if you get lucky and you annul that life off, then you craft your suffixes cannot be changed and you are guaranteed to get your crit multi, not guaranteed to be T1 or T2. It could be T3, but you're guaranteed that crit multi. So you could go from there, but um, I don't typically recommend this because it's a 50-50 that you regal into a suffix and then you have to go for a one in three annul no matter what. So no matter what, you know, there's going to be you know, half the time times a third, it's going to be six imprints on average anyway, um, every time you hit a faster casting, because you're going to have to go for that annul. Um, but yeah, so anyway, those are the two methods. And hopefully that helps.